Hello, everyone watching. Today's video is on the last first day of school. Mandatory school, that is, high school. In all honesty, what I feel is that this last first day won't really kick in until it is the actual last day of the mandatory school because right now the last first day seems more like a obstacle to me in my way but really I know that it's something much more important than that the last first day of school means that this is the last time that I have to end my summer and go back to mandatory school district school it's the last time I'll ever have to do that to be honest it, it doesn't feel like anything special right now that's why I say it won't really kick in until it's the last last day but for now it doesn't feel like anything special it just feels like a whole nother school year but it's the last school year it's the shortest school year, both literally and mentally. Four years of high school goes by really fast. I'd always heard that, but I never believed it. But once you're in it, it really does go by fast. So what does this last day mean to me, really? Well, to be honest, just this whole last year really is bittersweet. It's sweet because, actually, we'll start with the bitter part. It's bitter because this is the last year that I'll get to be around all of my friends. Whether they're close or not close, I get to see all of them this last year. I get to see my girlfriend every day get to see my friends every day get to see teachers every day the teachers I like at least um, and yeah and then after this year you won't have that anymore you won't have that same social experience of being around people your age all the time now the sweet part of this is that it's over the 18, not 18 years, I think it's more like 16, 15 years, 14, I don't even know how many years we're in school. I don't know. More than 10. The journey of mandatory school is finally over. Wow, it goes by fast once you're actually here, huh? Even though we're not at the end of the year, but we'll be there. It'll feel like next week when we're there. You know it will. So that's the sweet part. You won't have to go to classes you want to go to. You'll be forced into classes anymore. I think in college you have to take general ed though. So if you're going to college, I have news for you. But, yeah. No more state tests. Like SAT, PSAT. Taking my SAT this Saturday, by the way. Uh, I'm just going to wing it. It's just another test. Yeah, that's the sweet part about this whole last year. In all honesty, I have no clue what I'm doing after school. I mean, I know I'm going to go to college, I guess, to use the community. That's just a generic thing to do. But after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what job I want to go for. I don't, don't know. I just figure it out as I go. I just realized I've been looking at myself, not into the camera this whole time. I should probably look into the camera. Yeah, I just don't know what I'm going to do. I'm sure a lot of you don't know what you're going to do. And that's okay for now. 
what am I going to miss most? Well, in all honesty, I'm just going to miss the social experience, the friends, girlfriend, teachers, like I said before. The experiences that I made. I've made a lot of experiences last year that go into this year and are really good. Last year is my best year. I think this year will be even better. However, it's okay that those are going away because now you get to go and build more experiences in the real world where you're not shackled to the general courses of high school, middle school, or elementary school. However, that means you're on your own. You don't have the school system by you anymore. Dude, my hair. My hair. Yeah, you don't. And that's what's going to be hardest. It's just finding your way. But it'll probably all be worth it in the end. Yeah. I can't stand this. Okay. It'll probably all be worth it in the end of it all. I'm not sure as to what to say now. This is my second take of the video. First video, I managed to go like 10 minutes in talking to this. I don't know how I did. I don't know what I talked about. I think I might just have to end it right here because I don't know what to say. Actually, I know what to do right now. So if you're watching this and you are senior, I wish you the best of luck in this year. I wish you good health. I wish you good grades. If you're a junior watching this, I would like to let you know that your junior year is either going to be your hardest year or your easiest year. For me, it's my easiest year. But don't stress about it too much. It's just six letter grades. If you're a sophomore, you're still in pretty much normal high school, junior and senior. That's like a different experience from freshman and sophomore. So if you're a sophomore going into this, you're still in like the normal general area of schooling. But sophomore year, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Sophomore freshmen. Um, just pay attention, really. Do good. Do good these two years. So for the last two years, you can do the stuff you want to. Pay attention. Get good grades. Don't be an idiot. If you're going to do drugs, don't do them at school. I mean, it's not a hard concept, you know. You probably shouldn't do drugs in general, but if you're going to do them, don't do them at school. Are you stupid? Are, 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 are you serious? Just don't do them at school. And yeah, um, if any of seniors in my school are watching this, Hello. I might know you, I might not know you. Thanks for watching. See you at school. Yeah, I'm probably going to end it here. I have two final things to say. One pertaining to this video, and another one just in general. So the final thing to say for this video is, if you're in school right now, if you're in your last year, I hope you all do very well. I hope you stay focused. I hope you graduate. If you're just in school, just keep going at it. It'll be over before you know it. Live in the present. Live in your moments. Especially your senior year. Because if you're not living in your moments in your senior year, you're going to miss out on everything. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Don't let other people hinder you. You know? Don't let your parents decide what you can and can't do for school. If you want to do dance, do dance. If you want to be a cheerleader, be a cheerleader. Don't let them hinder you. Because they can't up themselves to the standards that you hold yourself to. Good luck. And then one last thing. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I might be posting more No Man's Sky content soon because I've really been enjoying that game. And yeah.
thank you. And I'm a head out. Um, yeah.